In question 9 of this exercise, the problem statement says two congruent circles, congruent circles are circles with the same radii, two congruent circles intersect each other at points A and B. So here's a figure that I've drawn for this statement. Two congruent circles intersect each other at points A and B, like you see here. Through A, through the point A, any line segment PAQ is drawn so that PQ lie on the two circles. So this line is not drawn yet. So let's draw a line PAQ through the point A. So let uh, this be one such line. So let's call this point P and this becomes the point Q. Now we have to prove that um, BP is equal to PQ. So if we join P with B to get the segment BP and if we join B with Q to get the segment BQ, we have to prove that these two segments are equal. So this is the problem. Now to prove that BP and BQ are equal, we can prove that in triangle BPQ, these two angles BPQ and BQP, these two angles are equal because if these two angles are equal, then the sides opposite these angles will also be equal. So BP will become equal to BQ. So this is what we will focus on proving that these two angles are equal. And to do that, uh, we will join A and B, this common chord of the two circles. Uh, we will join this chord. Okay. Now, this chord AB and the corresponding arc of the circle, this subtends angle P on the first circle and angle Q on the second circle. Now, let's join the endpoints A and B to the centers of the respective circles as well. So we um, join A to X and A, uh, B to X and we join A to Y and B to Y as well. Now here's the reasoning that we will use to uh, show that the angles at P and Q are equal. So this angle at P will be half of the angle at X, this angle here, because uh, it, these two angles are subtended by the same arc or the same chord and X is the center and P is the circumference. Similarly, uh, the angle at Q will be half of the angle at Y. So let me just write these observations here. So angle P will be equal to half of the angle at X and angle Q will be half of the angle at Y. So if you are able to show that the angles at X and Y, these two angles are equal, then it will follow that P and Q are also equal. And from there it will follow that BP is equal to BQ. Now to prove that the angles at X and Y are equal, we will consider the two triangles XAB and YAB. So I'm going to highlight these two triangles. Just observe this carefully. So we have XAB, which is this triangle, and we'll compare this with YAB, this triangle. So visually the two triangles seem to be congruent and this is what we are trying to prove. So in triangle XAB and triangle YAB, what are the corresponding parts which are equal? So we can say that XA is equal to YA because the two circles are congruent. So the radii of the two circles will be equal. So we have XA is equal to YA and the reason we can write is equal radii. Similarly, we will have XB and YB also equal. So XB will be equal to YB because of the same reason, equal radii. And the side AB in both triangles is common. So AB is equal to AB because this side is common. And what we have here is all three corresponding pairs of sides equal. So we, we get triangle XAB is congruent to triangle YAB by the SSS congruence criterion. And this means that the angles at X and Y are also equal by CPCT. So this angle here at X and this angle here at Y, these two angles are equal. So we have angle X is equal to angle Y by CPCT. Now, uh, we observed earlier that angle P is equal to half of angle X, angle Q is equal to half of angle Y. And uh, so from here it follows that half of angle X is equal to half of angle Y and half of angle X is angle P, this angle here, angle P, 
and half of angle y is uh, angle q which is this angle here and make sure that you understand why these two angles uh, why uh, half of angle x is angle p because angle x and angle p are subtended by the same arc which is a b or chord a b on the first circle and angle y and angle q are angles subtended by the same arc um, a b on the second circle and that's why these relationships hold we are making use of the fact that an arc uh, whatever angle it subtends at the center it will subtend half that angle at any point on the circumference so angle p is equal to angle q and this means that in triangle bpq the sides opposite these angles will also be equal so um, bp will be equal to pq and this is what we had to prove so this completes the proof for question 9 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers